Okay, welcome back. Doing Delta Labs level three. My favorite level of the whole game. Lots of really nice environments. Has the enemies in cryostasis. And the first appearance of the Arch Vile. And because it's the last level before hell, we can spend, expend all the ammunition we need. No need to be conservative with the ammo. I think this level has the only locker in the whole game where there's an enemy trapped inside. It's an imp. And that rattling sound you hear is the first arch fire. I always want to take them out quickly because they have a devastating fireball and they can summon other enemies. There. 
even though we killed him, I can still hear him. You surprised me. I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back, to see if there's something physiological that would be a weakness, a way to stop them. I've found nothing so far. Haven't had enough time. I'm gonna stay here and keep looking. It's the only thing I can do. There are combat supplies in the storage cabinet in the next room. The code is 624. I hope you can use it. I can't help them with the dissection. Alright, six two four. I didn't notice that arch file the last time I played this level. I think if you just defeat enough, MC goes away. This is my favorite part of the game right here, with the enemies and suspended animation. To the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. Got an this facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional being. or incision, which has complicated internal studies. 
Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the portal. While the cost in human life has been great in acquiring these specimens, we hope to one day complete genomic mapping and begin to answer the many questions we have about these entities. Now I thought the Revenant here would come alive and slap the glass or something. Seven one. Okay, this part is really awesome. Unfortunately, it's also really easy to die. If you're not paying attention and you get run over by the conveyor chamber, it's such a lame way to lose a life. But let's go ahead and let that go first. That's basically your light source. And one thing I wanted to point out while we have a minute is so here we'll go towards this dark area here but the original Doom 3 on Xbox and PC had better lighting like the uh, weapons would illuminate the area around you with dynamic lighting like, look at the plasma gun. It's not actually illuminating as it travels. But in the original Doom 3, like, every time you fired, the little plasma bolts would illuminate the surrounding area. Kind of sucks that they cheaped out on that with the BFG edition. Probably why there's so much. Plasma ammo in this level because they want you to use the plasma weapon to illuminate your surroundings.
let's let the next conveyor go. Just because I don't want to risk getting run over. I was actually recording this, and I died on this part, and it was so stupid. I got run over. That code one more time. Three seven one. Whoops. Fireballs still light up the surrounding area. It just sucks that you can get run over and killed. Okay, so the door's unlocked. We're in the office.
other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found We have been able to piece together, reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by Yuan's strange characteristics. Efforts to further examine Yuan have been futile. Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests, we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning you one. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research, we can, one day soon, learn to exploit the technologies that make up you one Okay, so the soul, the soul cube is gone. You don't get it until you beat the final boss of Hell, the Guardian. And I forgot to mention that in the Nightmare difficulty, uh, you start the game with the Soul Cube. That's the only real benefit. Uh, this is the audio log of Research Director Larry Bullman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without what having to watch the lights before? flicker constantly. It's just... Well, I have never mind. Back to the task. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, it extracts power from that event somehow. Now, once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I've only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you know, at this time, we have not seen any reaction from the cube, and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paperweight. End of lock. Okay, so here's the locked cabinet with an imp inside. Combination is taped right there. It says, open with caution. And we also took a look at the email that reveals that Martian Buddy is actually not spam. It's just uh, someone trying to help you. There's the imp. That commando spots me.
Buddy password. We got it all the way back in Alpha Labs. There it is. Oh, there it is, 0508. And from what I remember... Ah, we do have a BFG. Nice. We'll try it out as... on the next enemy. But, from what I understand, in the original Doom 3, I can't remember because it's been so long since I played it, but the only way to get the password, or passcode, for the Martian Buddy lockers was to... Um, go online to martianbuddy.com and they actually had a website it's archived so you can still look at it and it would um, tell you the password online to use oh that was stupid but we will be able to use the bfg to help us with the hell knight that we have to fight in the next level all right so that's it for delta labs 2 or rather delta labs 3 really and next, it's a short level. So we'll stop here and we'll do Delta Labs 3 next. <laughs>